Welcome to Lima. Nestled between the Andes and the Pacific Ocean, the Peruvian capital is one of the largest cities in the Americas, and clubs from here have long dominated the domestic game. Indeed, many of the country's finest players trace their roots back to the City of Kings. However, it's perhaps not the first place you'd expect to find an English goalkeeper plying his trade. This is Mark Cook, the only Englishman playing top-flight football in South America. Early this year, he joined Universitario, the Lima Giants, then managed by Cook's former Newcastle United teammate, Nalberto Solano. I was training with Hartlepool, obviously months ago, and uh, Nobby was playing for them at the time. And he said to us one day, he said, oh, do you have a, would you have a fancy coming and playing through? I think I was a joke. I thought, like, oh yeah, I wouldn't mind. And, Obviously, a few months later, left Hartlepool and I already got the Laiu job over here. And out of the blue, I just got a phone call off him. I said, Do you fancy it? I went, oh, yeah, straight away. Lo conozco desde Newcastle. I knew him from Newcastle when I went back there in 2005 2006, and Glenn Roder was the coach. He was still in the youth team with Newcastle. And then later, when I was at Hartlepool, I saw him again, and we had a few conversations. When I came back to Peru, Universitario were after a goalkeeper, and of course I remembered Mark Cook. I rang him and asked him what his situation was. Cook's arrival in Lima caused a bit of a stir with both the local media and La U's fans. Quite a change from the previous season, which he'd spent playing for Harrogate Town in England's sixth tier. It's a massive club over here. I, didn't, I knew it was big, I didn't realise how big it was till I came. It's the, the fan base I've got is absolutely crazy. Like, it's, like see the fans are so passionate, and as you see, they've got the drums at the games and that. And everywhere you walk, everyone's a La U fan. And Cook's not the only Englishman currently employed by Universitario. Goalkeeping coach Chris Lewin, whose previous clubs include Reading, Miami Fusion, and most recently Peruvian second division side Deportivo Copsol, also joined La U this year. It's an interesting group of keepers that I've got there, because obviously with Mark coming over from England, um, the moment I entered, the, who was the starting keeper for a while, which is you on top, was just coming back from injury. Um, and then the one that was playing, Carlos Casada. Um, so he basically, Mark came over, he was ready to play. Lucho came back from injury and Carlos was playing at the time. So the three of them were kind of all fighting for the starting position at the same time. Moving halfway around the world brings with it obvious challenges such as getting used to the language and culture, not to mention a very different style of football. Cook is yet to establish himself as a first team regular. I've played two games so far for the first team. I feel so. First game I didn't get a lot to do. But second game I think I thought I did alright, yeah. So yeah, see, like, it's difficult when you're playing up in altitude and the ball's moving it's very hot and playing at 12 o'clock and the sun's at the strongest. So yeah, it's difficult, but I'm, I'm getting used to it, I'm enjoying it. He's getting there slowly and surely. I mean, the last game uh, that I saw him play, he's. His, his confidence is there, he's got much more presence in the goal. Obviously, I, I mean, a big thing for him is for any goalkeeper is to be vocal. I and mean, when you can't speak the same language as the other players, it's not easy. Uh, but that's something we've worked on with him, and he, he's getting there. I, I feel as though it's been, been a bit of a problem, because to be honest, I'm like, I like to be a lower goalkeeper. Like I said, we've, they've brought in a, an English goalkeeper coach as well, who speaks both languages, so it helps me a lot. So when he's speaking in Spanish, I just sit and train, well, what does that mean? To help us out, so I speak a lot. I know quite a lot of words now. I can't put sentences together, but I know like one word, so I just shout one word and things like that. Very seldom they will I break into English. I always coach the lads in Spanish because I've told him the only way you're going to learn is just being submerged. In it. Plus, the training I do is kind of a combination of stuff I've brought over from England, stuff I picked up when I was coaching in the States, and stuff I picked up from coaching here. So it's kind of like a combination between. English style goalkeeping training, which is very different to the Peruvian style. Lewin, who also runs a goalkeeping school in Lima, has been working in football abroad for more than a decade. But it's still rare to find Englishmen who'll make the decision to join clubs overseas, especially in South America. Mark Cook is still just 23, very young for a goalkeeper. It remains to be seen if his move to Peru will be a long term success, but he should be applauded for moving out of his comfort zone. I would love to see how he wants to be. Quite enjoy it, and as like I said, the 
the missus you see out with us and she's enjoying it, so quite happy. Biggest goal is to play more games, man. Sorry. Yeah, see, I've played two at the moment, and obviously uh, uh, Lucho, obviously, Lewis Lontops came back in. They, they, He's, he's doing okay, so I'm still waiting to get more chance. And obviously, I want to play more games for the first team. Few English footballers have made themselves at home in South America, but maybe one day more will follow the path less travelled.